Hi everyone and welcome to this first audio tutorial about the Lord Inquisitor. So um, this little video is just, um, yeah, you could call it a little inside video of how I usually sculpt my um, ornaments and those nice little details you can see in my Space Marine illustrations. And this is not meant to be very technical at this point of time. Uh, it's just for all those guys uh, who are following my progress um, how I uh, how I start sculpting in all those details and how it's all coming together and if you're a bit familiar with 3D um, you might be seeing now that I'm using ZBrush and uh, and you might think wait uh, you're always using that box and uh, that's correct but in this case uh, I I have a good good reason for that because um, I want to keep the high poly mesh later on in my 3D application and ZBrush has a really really good function for that and it's called uh, Decimation Master and this lets you throw away up to 99% of your overall polygons and by still keeping the overall shape and I'm using this and if I would sculpt this in Mudbox now I would have to export the very high polygon mesh and this might be something about 3 or 4 for gigabyte on my hard disk drive um, which uh, ZBrush really isn't a fan of to import again and Mudbox is no fan of exporting this mesh and uh, so so I just uh, start to sculpt inside ZBrush because uh, yeah why not uh, you can do this uh, I'm a really no big fan of ZBrush it's uh, it has a, a ton of functions you can do everything it's uh, really cool for that but it's uh, for the usability it's really really uh, awful in my opinion and you have to think of a thousand things first before you start sculpting and if you do one click wrong it's like <laughs> oh your mesh is gone start again please and uh, so you you might drop your mesh on the canvas and you can't can't sculpt on it again you have to create a new document and all some crazy things there and once you're getting used to it it's it's okay but uh, i i always try to work in mudbox but back to the topic, uh, you can see me here already sculpting in eagles um, and skulls already. And um, I, as I as I start sculpting, I only have a rough idea in mind what what I was going for for a look. And I decided to add the double-headed eagle and some skulls and the the stylized eye of the Inquisition. And I always start by blocking in the the main shapes, the main forms. So uh, uh, I started by by blocking in the head of the eagle, the wings, um, uh, blocking in the, the rough skull, and uh, I try to see how it's coming all together. And if it fits nicely, I start to subdivide the mesh again, so adding more polygons, and this allows me to to add much higher details. So I was able to sculpt those little feathers and um, other nice smaller elements. So um, you have the possibility here to work on layers just like in Photoshop and if you are not happy uh, let's say the skull is on, on one separate layer and if you think oh, it's terrible then you delete the layer again and uh, all is cool cool again and you can start from scratch uh, and uh, add a new symbol or whatever and now you can see me here painting a or sculpting a space marine and the reason because is I just want to make this image look like it has a kind of a purpose as if the original creator had think of a special meaning as they were sculpting this armor for Torquemada so uh, I don't want to look like I don't want the armor to look like it's just uh, some various forms some some unimportant shapes it's it shall look a bit like it's 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 telling a meaning a, a kind of a small story maybe it's maybe it's a famous battle maybe Torquemada was in, in, involved in it and it was a glorious battle and Torquemada is proud to wear an illustration of these of these battles or um, 
of this certain war on his chest armor to show that he is simply the coolest warrior of all time and everyone he's encountering shall see this immediately and um, this is always a good idea to think of some stories while you're modeling uh, i imagine like um, the the mechanicum on on mars are uh, hammering the those armor with small little hammers in uh, in their uh, yeah in their mechanical rooms and and they are thinking of those stories and um, uh, giving the best they could do to make this armor look absolutely cool for Torquemada because they know if they fail Torquemada will come and uh, oh, yeah, well you, you know the end of the story um, so I'm uh, here sculpting um, already on the next armor piece and it this this small head protection unit let's uh, maybe it's called like that actually I have no idea what it's called but you can see this on a lot of um, Space Marine illustrations. Um, excuse me for um, Torquemada Space Marine illustrations. Um, so when you look for Torquemada, you can see this thing on a lot of his uh, illustrations. And that's one reason I wanted to keep it in my design, because my design is a bit different from others. But there are a lot of designs going on. So feel free to interpret it your own way. There's no. 100% officially illustration for Torquemada and I was going for some smaller shapes and forms here so you can see a little bit of some wings going on and some smaller details but I don't want it I don't want to have some really big forms going on on those small parts because I want uh, that the main attention is on the big chest plate and the double headed eagle so if everywhere are uh, if everywhere are some some big things going on big skulls and big big space marine illustrations on your armor you're starting to lose um the the impression that it's um one big image but uh, just some various image here and there and it's probably too much and so this is a, a kind of a little bit of a structure going on while while sculpting. I'll keep that in mind that my main focus is on the chest plate and that in this case here it's the shoulder pad that the, the shoulder pad has some smaller details and I'm not going crazy about a thousand different details uh, on it. So I'll only uh, I'm only sculpting the edges of those armor here on the shoulder pad and leave the the inside parts uh, leave them flat as they are so it's just a little little bit of ornament sculpting on those big edges to make it look visually more interesting it's um, just cooler to look at when you see some sc some sculptings going on and those will be later covered in gold which makes which makes um, the armor look more impressive and shows that the leader or the wearer of those armor with these armors um, is a person of big influence um, a high ranked space marine so to say and um, it, it it makes the wearer automatically look cooler so um, if you have such an armor at home you're automatically a cool person if you wear this thing and same for space marines and now it's only one part left and it's this this um yeah the small plate covering a bit of his belly and uh i was going for a kind of a stylized skull symbol here and you can see me sculpting in some um some lines um in the, in the symmetry mode and you you can see already and there's a bit of a face going on it's a stylized skull not not a human skull but something else like a mask maybe and it's just for a, a visual visually uh, more interesting appearance um, for those last part and as a last step for the overall armor I'm starting to add scratches and um, some 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 demolition going on here on the edges and it's broken here and a scar there and um, so you can clearly see that this armor has a lot of 
um, uh, of uh, it has a long history and the wearer of the armor is an experienced warrior who has fought many battles and yeah that's it for the first insight of this video and we'll see us again in the next video where it's about texturing the armor